Biochem Insignia has a number of tools for producing parts, what I would call design for manufacture. The main one of these is the nesting. In this demo though, what we're going to look at is a process called the matrix multiplate. What this allows us to do is to take data from a text file or some kind of data file that you've saved from a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel and import that data into ArtChem to use in a design to fill in different information for the same design. In this case what we're going to use is this address plaque for somebody's house and what I want to do is create 25 of these each for a different customer with a different name and a different number that I've got in my Excel file that I've saved, in this case a comma separated values file. So we select the data and go into the multiplate tool. I'm going to load my CSV file. It shows me the information in there. It shows me how it's dividing it up and I have many options depending how this data has been saved. Then it's up to me to tell me where I would like the file to be placed, how much distance I would like between each of the plates and it's also showing me how many plates it's going to create based on that data. Next I can assign these variables and it knows they're variables by the use of the double curly bracket and it's automatically picked that up and filled in the menu. So I can assign this to the house and also to the name and then I can look at any of the individual plates and see that data in there. And if, for instance, I know that the Georges actually live at 22, I can make that change on the fly. So even though the data was wrong, I'm able to update that and make changes to it without having to go and change the original file. Now I can ask the software to create the plates. It's going to create 25 different versions of this, each with the same basic design, but with a different number and a different name on every single one. And we'll be able to see that in a minute when it finishes and it's created all these different designs here much, much faster than if I'd had to individually go in and edit each of these designs. On top of this, I can even do this with parts that have already had toolpaths assigned to them as well. In this case, we're just doing it with the design, but I could have assigned toolpaths to the different areas of the design here. And what that would have done is then allow me to automatically generate 25 sets of toolpaths. You can see that every single design has picked up the name and it's fitted it in there based on how we describe the text. Very, very powerful and very useful tool.